Hi and welcome to another video for linmob.net. Again, it's about the Pine phone and once again I asked on Twitter for what people would like to see and I also asked on the Fediverse and um, well there was one request that's quite easy to fulfill and that is make a video about something running Plasma Mobile um, because many people seem allegedly seem to think uh, that there's only Fosh and so I did and because I just recently uh, did a little video about Manjaro Alpha 6 with Plasma Mobile I now took to Neon KDE Neon with Plasma Mobile which is available at plasmamobile.org now this is uh, built by the Neon project and this is the second boot. Um, this ROM has one issue at first boot and that is that this doesn't happen. The keyboard doesn't come up at first boot but then you just uh, reboot and it's there. Comparing to uh, previous videos I've done about Plasma Mobile the people that really pay attention to detail of you have certainly seen that this is a different keyboard before they used something I think it was cute word keyboard or something and now it is um, based on mal malit m a l i i t uh, which is a framework that was uh, already used back in the day on the Nokia N9 and um, has been ported forward all the time. It's in use as foundation for the keyboards of uh, Sailfish OS, UB ports, uh, Ubuntu Touch and also LunaOS that uh, modern WebOS continuation I also did videos on. Now this keyboard should be able uh, to bring um, stuff like GTK support forward in the future. Currently that does not work yet. Now uh, this is Plasma Mobile and um, there is uh, actually if you have a look at the apps it ships with its phone, phone book, Anglefish which is that web browser that I quite like. Um, then uh, Boohoo, a notes app which I've already shown in in pretty much depth in my uh, sorry not saying of fish starting uh, in my uh, video on uh, Plasma Mobile on Manjaro Kalindori the calendar client which is uh, well the best mobile friendly calendar UI currently uh, Clock which is um, a pretty new app it has um, features like uh, time timer, so like when you, when you're cooking, you can say, "Hey, um, okay, that didn't really work. Apparently, it crashed. Did it, or did I just somehow minimize it? No, it crashed. So see, it's it's fairly new and apparently not totally stable. Uh, let's try that again. Oh yeah, uh, zero seconds timer is of course best of all timers okay so either I'm doing something wrong or it's just not working yet correctly at least this function of it uh, so let's just restart it and have another look at the beautiful splash screen here um, it has other features like um, stopwatch let's see if that works yeah that works and uh, when we finish the lap, okay, first lap now, uh, you know, that apparently works quite well uh, without crashes and an alarm clock. Uh, although I think uh, that alarm clocks on the Pine phone um, would need some working together with the Crust firmware, which is active in low power mode, so that uh, it would actually wake you up at the point in time you want to wake up uh, unless you have the Pine phone connected all the time but yeah that's clock um, then discover which is obviously the software store 
uh, index of the file manager I quite like um, although unfortunately there's a different file picker menu in use usually um, Coco which uh, is an image viewer now unfortunately I don't have any images on this thing um, I I'm going to make a set of files for purposes like this for further for the distros uh, packages which is on my to-do list uh, but I haven't yet same goes for wave the music player it would be useless to start that now uh, console uh, which is the KDE terminal um, I like the uh, QML console I think uh, terminal that was on um, Manjar or better this seems to be the stock KDE one it doesn't have these extra buttons up here you know like tap up down left right arrows and stuff and escape uh, which was really helpful but uh, this doesn't have it so it has this menu and see it's yeah that's standard console um, like we all know and love it from KDE um, yeah now then uh, of course ocular which is a PDF reader again uh, showing that off without having a PDF file at hand is um, not really useful thing to do the settings app um, has a feature that doesn't ship even on current Manjaro by default in the cons section but let's let me just briefly uh, connect to Wi-Fi here to show that how that works and here you see the mob that's my network and the password is really complicated uh, nobody who's ever watched a video of mine will know that password and yeah so I'm connected to the internet now um, but I wanted to show you another feature of that settings app and that is accounts and um, you can get that to work on Manjaro too uh, but you need to install a package to start with with uh, k accounts something something I don't fully remember uh, the cool feature is that you can add Google accounts and Nextcloud or own cloud accounts so um, yeah I could now add my own uh, my next cloud um, let me just briefly enter my server address because I don't want to share this oh turns out I can't because apparently the keyboard isn't really interacting. Oh, now it is. Great. That's great. Because I tried this earlier and then uh, it wouldn't work. But at that time, I also had my little home server not set up properly. Uh, my, my little mobile Wi-Fi router that creates this special test network I hadn't said that properly but now yeah now I'm at my next cloud and uh, the keyboard doesn't come up so that isn't really working yet unless you're using a Bluetooth keyboard or something um, so keyboard uh, is still an ongoing problem on Plasma Mobile then Spacebar which is the SMS app uh, I didn't receive any yet so that's not really that useful um, weather is uh, one that I don't remember from my video on Manjaro so let's have a brief look at that one uh, let's just see what it thinks my current location is Munich hey it figured that out so apparently positioning works here whether it's via network location or something or GPS it just works and as you can see the weather here is well not too great currently but that seems to be a pretty decent weather app I, I quite like that um, I think that you can also set yeah see so if you're American you can set Fahrenheit um, I don't know whether Fahrenheit is in use anywhere else um, speed units you can set MPA it uh, miles per hour too so yeah that's uh, all that's necessary I think and of course you can add more locations so let me just see uh, the keyboard doesn't come up again now that is 
that keyboard is still uh, not perfectly integrated I would just say from these two experiences I had there. Let's try that again because I somehow managed to trigger it before so don't know what I did there um, and now yeah but uh, now I can see here all that funny multitasking in KDE um, and no it can't but it can add your current location so <laughs> when you're traveling just hit that button again and it will uh, at that place anyway whether the keyboard works or not now yeah I really like that with the app it's pretty good I mean what else would you need that's nice um, yeah I guess that's it um, KD Neon is definitely worth a try um, I think it's still uh, based on Ubuntu Ubuntu 18.04 here and not yet on um, the current 20.04 so um, because the desktop uh, version of KDE Neon recently rebased but uh, let's just see if we can figure that out I think that should be okay look at that apparently the keyboard just uh, decided to give up um, but I've uh, seen uh, I've I'm, I'm a member of that matrix ma matrix group now plus my mobile matrix group and they are uh, still working on the integration so uh, stuff like the keyboard randomly failing is actually expected at the current point in time so unfortunately I will just have to shut it down now this menu uh, changed a little recently and I like that new look uh, quite a lot and see you soon. Bye.